It has been a minute since I've been live on here. I think it's been three or four weeks. And I think the last time I was here, I did how to turn your six day kid blanket swatch into a hat. And today, by the way, don't look at my Mac, me, mask me. It's the end of the pandemic and I don't even have to wear a mask anymore. And I have mask me. Um, and I also got my nails done. Did you notice that? So happy to have um, a manicure again. I have my little, I have this little ceramic thing with hooks in it that I keep on the desk. And I moved my desk downstairs from upstairs, but it's the ceramic thing is still on the upstairs desk. But it has all my nails on it that fell off <laughs> during the pandemic. And I was like, and then there were four, and then there were three, and then there were two, and I just ended up sticking them in there, in the, in the thing. Um, yeah, you know, uh, well, here in New York, we, a lot of us have been vaccinated, and I've been vaccinated, and you don't have to wear a mask outside anymore here, so um, probably not really the end of the pandemic, but um it feels like it. it feels like things are starting to <sighs> anyways let's not go there um okay so let's see i thought that i would go back to the superstar that i was working on and um and continue with the soup oh this is let me see set up round nine that would be this, set up round 10, that would be this. And then, so this is, I think I said row two. Yeah, I, I know, I, I, I know. You know, that was just an offhand comment, not really meant to upset anyone. So um, yeah, just point being, I don't have to wear a mask anymore, but yet I still have mask me. <laughs> um, Okay, so I think I said round two in the high D in the description. Let me just start over. Today, I'm going to work on a six day superstar blanket. And I had started this tutorial, I don't know, a while back, forever ago. And um, you know how I do, I only get so far and then I stop and then I get distracted and work on something else. And um, so I ended on, I actually, in the last tutorial, I had started around setup row 11, but my work was curling pretty bad. Like it's curling, this is setup round 10. It's already curling. So I see that it's curling and I was using a six millimeter hook, J hook. And so now that I see this curling, I'm going to bump up to a seven millimeter hook and that will help it to lie flat. I had another row on here after this curl. And so I took that out. So when you see it starting to curl, you should switch on the next round or take, you know, I could take this round out and redo it with a bigger hook, but I think it'll be fine. So this is, let me just go back because I already started this round. So this is set up round 11. It says round two in the description, but I'll change that later. Okay. So it starts with the slip stitch into that space and then a chain up. We're gonna chain up two and then a DC two together. Oh, my hands are not on camera. Let me switch. There we go.
Oops. I don't really like this hook, but apparently a few of my furls have taken a walk and I don't I can't find them. I don't know where they are. They're in the they're in a knitting bag, crochet bag, yarn bag somewhere. Um but yeah, I'm missing a few. And I've been all over the place. I've been to like Nashville and I've been to um uh to see my mom in Pennsylvania and um I could have dropped a couple of them somewhere along the way. I hope not. Hey, Jackie. I see Jackie's here. Courtney's here. And Dee. And Renee. And Deborah. Hi, everyone. How are we doing? I'm just checking to see that I'm on all the channels. Did I make it over to? Okay. Hey, it's Dirty Die. I don't know who you are, but you're always full of compliments, and I like that. Thank you. Okay. Now let me pull this up. Nope, that's not what I want. I want... Here we go. A pattern. All right. So I'm on setup round 11. Excuse me. All right, here we go. <laughs> I've said that like six times. Slip stitch into the space between the DC two together and the three DC chain two DC two together in the same space. Did that three 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 in the top chain three space at the top of the mountain. Oh, my hands are not even on camera. Doing really great tonight. Okay. And then this DC3 together here is going to be the bottom of a valley. So we're going to do a cluster on each side of it. See, it's already flattening out. And then three, three, three in the top of the mountain. And you just do that around. Hello, Glennis. How are you? Thank you for posting the photos of the little twin blankets. All done. They look amazing. And I loved your collage photo. Whoops. I really don't like this hook too much. It's not the shape that I like. I need to slow down. It's getting warm here in New York and I, it's getting cold in Australia, am I right? This is set up round 11 of the six day superstar blanket. My yarn's all over the place because I frogged a whole row because it was curling. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Lorraine. Yeah, I thought about turning my um, air conditioner on upstairs and cool it off up there a little bit. I was um, going through some, I was going through my closet and purging some old clothes. Hey, Bev. 
and I started to sweat. <laughs> Felt good though to clear out some stuff. I have a, I went through all my stash and I made up some kits for uh, some of my patterns. And so I'm going to be, I've been working on my Shopify for about a month now. And I'm going to be putting up those up for sale on my Shopify and on Etsy. I have some spring mixer kits. Um, I have some mushroom risotto kits. Um, and I have a couple tea cake kit kits. All the coveted tea cake rainbow a la Heather Hollinger. So only have like, I think I have two or th maybe three of those that I'm going to de-stash. Courtney and I are working on a collab. It's taking us forever. Hi, Amy. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, it's graduation season, isn't it? I was going through some of the star uh, blanket tutorials on the YouTube channel last night and just trying to organize them a little bit more, make it easier to figure out which one comes when, how to get from one to the other. Had a couple good questions that let me know that it wasn't, I wasn't super organized. Hey Barb, how you doing? We missed you this week on the patron call. You too, Glynis and Courtney. Where were you? <laughs> yep. So what are you working on next, Glennis, now that you have those blankets done? Did you start your goddess? How's your mom doing, Barb? Oh, that's okay. I'm just ribbing you a little bit. How's your mom doing, Barb? I thought that this pattern would be too mindless for me, if 
but I like it. Oh, goodness. You have four yarns to choose from for your goddess. Oh my, oh my. You could start four and alternate. I have I have yarn to start um, another one. I need I had to order a new hook though from furls because I bent a couple of my furls. And that oh wait, you can't see that unless I hold it up. <laughs> it down here you see how that's bent just a little bit and I did it I think I dropped it actually I think I dropped the bag that they were in because I don't remember dropping them and I definitely dropped that can't do nothing with that it's a G hook they don't replace them if you drop them but they did give me one they said they would replace one of them, the red one, because it was the first time I ever asked for a replacement, so they gave me one. They were nice. So my next two, yeah, I dropped it. Um, my my next I, my next tutorial after this. When I, well, when I get that hook, I'm going to do a goddess um, tutorial. It'll be on Patreon and it'll be a private video linked in the pattern. And maybe I should do a little event for that so we could all, let's do a goddess challenge. How does that sound? I was wondering, I was thinking like we should do, should do a challenge. What challenge should I do? I think I'll do a goddess challenge. Yeah, crochet along, that might be good and do like a, you could do each section, like a different section each week. No, I have never done a crochet along instead of a challenge. I think that's a great idea though. I think what I like about the super star, well, the star blanket, you know, it has the eight setup rows and then you just keep going. And the super star has 11 setup rows. Is that right? Yeah, this is the last setup row. And then you just keep going. The supernova has, you know, it starts out like the star. And then you repeat and then it has, a, and then it has some different some different they're not set up rows but you know you add in those other points and it's like 
to me, it's the most complicated of the three star patterns. And I like this one because you get all the setup done at once. And it's a little less boring than the star. Because you don't have those long, long, long runs of double crochet. But it's just boring enough to be mindless and you know after those setup show setup rows and I can watch my TV shows. So when should I start the crochet along? Should maybe start it in like a week or two weeks. Give everybody a chance to get the pattern, get the yarn. A lot of you already have it. I've never done one. I guess I need to figure out how it works. Usually it's like only part of the pattern is released, right? It's like, here's part one of the pattern and everybody does that. You have like a certain amount of time to do it. And then they release part two, part three, whatever, however many parts. June 1st, that's like next week. <laughs> that could work though. I mean, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe this like the second week of June. And then we could do the first week, we could do the the um, the V stitch rows. And then like the second week, we could do the five stitch fans. And then the seven stitch fans and then the nine stitch fans and then the the edge. The edge takes forever. Okay, I marked this guy so I would know where to slip stitch. This is a seven millimeter hook. Somebody asked me what kind of hook are you using and what size? This is a seven millimeter hook and I believe, is this one of the ones I got from Lion Brand? No, I don't think it is. I think I got this at Webs, and it's a fancy hook. Attention swatch could be my pre-homework. Well, if you use any of the yarn to swatch, you're going to run out of yarn at the end. OK, round four. OK, I have a little note in here, and it says, in order to make the row numbers correspond to the original six day kid blanket row numbers, we're calling the next row round four. Round four corresponds to six day kid blanket round four, round five to six day kid blanket round five, etc. Proceed from here to round four. So do the rows in order. And the reason it goes from 11 to four is because we want to match the six day kid blanket so that if you want to do snowflake effect, we can still tell you change in between round two round and round three, just like for the blanket row two and row three. It's just easier to keep them the same. Okay, so we did our slip stitch, you chain one and you single crochet in the same stitch. And then I always want to show you how to mark that. That's your slip stitch right there. That's your chain up and that's your single crochet stitch. You want to mark that. So you don't want to come back around and then slip stitch into one of these guys and create extra stitches. 
you'll pull it undone to start. I want to make sure that, it, oh, that's very nice. Okay, so, um, yeah, I would do, I would chain and I would, I would make a chain and do the V stitches or I don't know what's, what you would want to swatch up. Let me see, attention swatch. I guess you could use any stitches you wanted just to determine what size hook you want to use with it. And I've done, mostly I used, what did I use? I used this C hook, which I believe is 2.75 millimeters. Um, and I've used a larger hook as well on the one behind me. You can't see it, but, um, and it was really, really open and really flowy and huge. Okay, we single crochet all the way around. Some of us crochet in between these stitches just to give it a little more definition. I've just kind of gotten in the habit of doing it. And then three single crochet in the chain three space. And it doesn't give counts because I'm lazy and I don't like to count but from three. Does it give counts? No, it does not. So after the three single crochet in the chain three space, it's one. I'll just count them out now. Two, three. I won't go in between the stitches right now just so we can count. Four. Ugh, this is too pointy for me. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. There you go, friends. Eight single crochet in between. Three in the chain space. Don't forget this guy right here. This one's easy to forget. Okay, I chain three in the space. My first double crochet is right there. Sometimes that one hides if you, um, you know, if you made your single crochet close to the edge there. One, two, three, and then these three, I go in between the stitches. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Now you'll have me counting. Yeah, Glynis, do you have gradient yarn to use? Because if you have a gradient, you know, and you swatch with that yarn, you would want to pull it undone. Because you would want to take advantage of the, you know, all the colors. I'm not really super comfortable in this chair. Oh, I know what. <laughs> I know what I'm missing. I'm missing the phone book to sit on. <laughs> oh, oh, that's better. Hallelujah. You have two is Shipius and also the Millens. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Glynis took us on a tour of Spotlight on it on one of our Zoom calls. It was so fun.
<laughs> Sorry, I'm just bouncing over to YouTube and um, Jill is asking how many tutorials do I have for the supernova? And Jill, I think I have, I think I have tutorials going up through row the seven A and two A. I think those are the name of the rows because the rows are numbered weird. I was just looking at them last night and I think was it you that asked about the rows because you couldn't find one of the videos. I think it was you. I think I recognize your name. If not, and I'm mistaking you for someone else, I apologize. Um, but yeah, so the superstar, the supernova and the star blanket are all the same from rows one through eight. So there's only one video for that. And then after row eight, the star blanket just repeats the same, um, the same six rows over and over until it's as big as you want. And then you finish it off on row seven or four. The superstar has three additional setup rows, eight, nine, 10, 11, four additional setup rows, and then it repeats after that. But the supernova is basically the star blanket up through the first repeat. So if you follow the star blanket tutorial and repeat rows two through six, and then pick up the tutorial, at row 7A, the one I just was, I think that you commented on last night, you should be good from there. And I, I probably need to continue those tutorials, but that I've got enough tutorials to get you through the hard bits, difficult parts. She doesn't want her name spelled correctly. <laughs> and Casey's name is spelled Cassie, but it's pronounced Casey. Hi, Cheryl. Yeah, this will be on this will be on YouTube. It'll be in my lives and I'll I'll post it in my uploads and I'll fix the I'll fix the um, title of it and I'll go through the description and um, make some notations so it's easy to look up the beginning and ends of the rows. You're welcome. I hope it helps. <laughs> Nobody knows who Old Boiler Robo really is. She's an incognito crochet, creator of the confetti effect and the pocket shawl. Bye, Lorraine. Take care. Thank you, Julie. What rows do I need to change color on to get the snowflake effect? Also, does it make a difference? I am left-handed. Um, it doesn't make a difference. Well, if you're talking about the regular six day kid blanket, I have flipped, I have tutorials that are flipped for you, but I haven't flipped the star blankets yet. Um, but I will put it on the list to flip them for lefties. 
but we have quite a few lefty mods. Old Boiler Robo is a lefty, Heather's a lefty. Um, and um, they can help you. And your other question was, what rows do you change on to get the snowflake effect? And what you do is you change colors after row two. The snowflake effect is kind of, it's tricky to explain because you're changing colors not in line with a with repeat, the pattern repeat. So my phone's ringing. So you're gonna start off your blanket and you're gonna do your single crochet row one and then row two, and then you're gonna change colors. And then you're gonna go three, four, five, six, seven, two, and then change colors before row three. So before every row three, you change colors in between row two and row three. Okay. And I have a, um, I have a swatch along video for it. That would be the, I don't like what I did there. That would be the best, um, probably that would, that would probably help you. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's admire it. I still have a little bit of curl, but I think it's gonna be okay. And let's see. <laughs> I may have missed your answer on how many tutorials there are for Supernova. It was a long answer too. <laughs> Gosh, these people used to eat that need to eat all the time. That's what I used to say to my family. Oh, you people that need to eat all the time. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, round five. Here we go. Let's see how long I've been on here. This might be my last round because I don't like to go for. Well, it's been 37 minutes. This is probably going to make it be my last round. All right. So this is round, what is this? What did I say? Round five. Slip stitch in the next. There you go. And you want me to hold it up. Flip it around. Okay, round five, slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain three. Three, double crochet, one, two, Three, five, double crochet in center, single crochet. So here, here they are, the center, single crochet. There's one, there's the center one right there. Now the top of it leans to the right a little bit. So it doesn't look like it's in the center. That's the one on the right side. This is the center one and that's the left one. So it might not really look or feel like you're in the center, but you are, you're good. Five, double crochet. So this is where the pattern increases. So I don't recommend for this one adding extra rows of you know, double crochet or granny, granny rows. Sometimes people like to do stuff like that, like for Auss Aussie confetti effect. We Sometimes we do three rows of granny. So you can't do that on this one because it will throw it off. 
And then, okay, now we're coming down and we're going to do four double crochet. One, two, three, four. And because I don't like counting, I just always watch for this last cluster here. Your last double crochet will line up between these last second and third double crochet two rows down. So you know when you get there, you're at the valley. And then you skip two, one, two. And everything leans a little bit to the right. If you're working left-handed, it'll lean a little to the left. And then we're gonna do four double crochet to get back up to the top. And then five double crochet in the center. Oops. Okay, here I am at the bottom. I don't think I counted. It's four, but I don't think I counted them. I just was watching for my little thing there. Okay, and this just repeats all the way around. It's nice and repetitive and mindless. Mindless. Starting to take on that flower look. Somebody did it in, I think it was Aaron Boom, did it in sunflower colors and made it look like a sunflower. She did the inside brown and then yellow. It might be in the finished projects album. I don't, I think she might have done that before the album was uh, removed. Okay, so, so I'm working this around four double crochet, skip to four double crochet, and then five uh, double crochet in the center stitch at the top of the mountain. That's the whole row. Um, I'll go back to the supernova question. The video tutorials, I believe they go up to rounds 7A and 2A, I think those are, I'm saying the right names of the rows. Sunflowers in the Superstar album. Thank you, Bev. Um, that one probably needs another tutorial, but I think the hardest parts are, are, um, are on video for you. I think that 7A and 2A are the hardest parts of that, that blanket, but the Supernova blanket is basically the star blanket up to that row. So you can follow the star blanket videos up to that point. And I think I even, I think I even worked a lot of the repeat row on camera as well. It was boring. I talked a lot. Well, let me um, open up, let me go back over to YouTube too so I can. You're welcome, Jill. Crochet along, crochet along.
you know, I can feel where it's a little bit, you know, tight where it wants to curl, but I think it's gonna be fine and lay flat once it's all done. See, I'm not even halfway around on this row. Just a little lay it down and admire it moment. everyone having for dinner tonight or had for dinner it's already almost nine o'clock they had leftovers a little earlier This is a really long round. I can't go really fast with this hook. It's too pointy. I want to say this is a nitpicks hook. Nitpicks. I think I purchased the hook because I was on like a shopping trip and I bought some yarn and I wanted to, I wanted to play with it right away. <laughs> so I bought a hook to go with it. <laughs> and I think I, I think I got pulled this hook out on another video at some point and like said what it was and I'll see if I can dig that out. not crochet the hair into the project. This is great TV crochet. I recently, uh, my friend Kista was here visiting and um, she got me into that show Heartland and it's great because it has so many seasons and it was a nice long binge watch, but now it's over. And it's one of those feelings like where you get, you end up like in this world and, and you get drawn in and it's like you're almost like you're part of the family and 
they all ride horses in this show. And now I'm like, I want to ride horses. I want to go out back and talk to my horse when I'm feeling sad and go for a trail ride to feel better. And, um, yeah, I don't have a horse, <laughs> but I have that feeling of like, you know, I wonder what they're all up to. My son and I used to get the Harry Potter books at midnight when they were released and we would read them. He's such a fast reader. He would always have them read like long before I could finish, but I would just, you know, read it as fast as I possibly could. And then as soon as it was over, I was like, oh, I finished it. You know, like you're dying to know what happens. And then the book is, and then it's over and it's like, oh, I miss Harry, Ron, and Hermione. I wonder what they're up to. Yeah, I love the horses. I was, I used to read all these horse books when I was younger. So it, um, yeah, it was, I really was having fun watching that show. Um, but it's just like 13 seasons, you know, so many episodes to get through. And, um, the last season, I didn't want it to end. So <laughs> I kept going back like three, you know, two or three episodes and like rewatching. Cause I knew I only had like three left and I didn't want it to end. It's a very sweet show. It's always, always has a happy ending. And... I can just hear the theme music in my head. I started listening to country music <laughs> in my downtime. <laughs> I'm weird. Okay, here I am, I'm at the end. See, I lined up my last stitch. My last double crochet in between those two stitches. Oh no, I'm not at the end. Hold on. Hang on, Betty. Don't get ahead of yourself. Now I'm at the end. I'm just gonna jump across here and slip stitch into the top of this double crochet. There we go. Yeah, it's laying flat. I'll hold it up because someone asked me to do that before. It's got a little bit of a bump. I probably could have gone up another half of a millimeter. Or if I had had my Odyssey hook that I can really relax my hand when I crochet my tension might have been a little bit more loose. This feels really tight. I just felt like I was laboring with that hook, but it was the only one I had in the right size. So what rows did I do there? I did round, set up round 11, round four and round five. Okay. Hmm. 
Yep. Okay, I'll do the rest another time. Thank you all for being here. Whoever was here popping in and out, I appreciate it. Let me flip this, start my music. Hey, JNC, Camillary, Kem, Kem, thanks for being here. Glad you like the blanket. Let us know in the Facebook group if you need any help. We're happy to help you. Bye, everyone. I do that every time. Let's swap cameras. There we go.